Middle Eastern governments have been purchasing modern fighter jets in historic numbers for decades. Saudi Arabia, for example, spent $60 billion on 84 F-15 SA fighter jets five years ago. The contract was the largest in the U.S. Department of Defense's history. The United Arab Emirates ordered 80 Rafale fighters for $19 billion two years ago. The acquisition was France's Dassault Rafale's greatest ever overseas purchase. The second, third, and fourth largest F-16 fleets in the world are now found in the nations of the region. After the $3 billion agreement, Israel will have 75 fifth-generation F-35 Lightning II fighters. Only Japan and the U.S. have more. For more nations might reach significant agreements in the upcoming years. Su-35 for Iran Following the extensive invasion of Ukraine, Russia had to find new weaponry manufacturers. Iran was the principal provider, flying both commercial and military aircraft to transport hundreds of drones across the Caspian Sea. The Shahid 131-136 Kamikaze drones received the most attention. Nearly every day, the Ukrainian Air Force shoots down dozens of these drones. According to the U.S. administration, Russia would repay Iran with Su-35 combat aircraft. Twelve of the aircraft were destined for Egypt, but the African nation declined to purchase them out of concern for possible U.S. penalties. Since ordering the MiG-29A from the Soviet Union in 1990, Iran has gone more than 30 years without purchasing a fourth-generation fighter aircraft. Iran's fleet is 40 years old on average presently. The planes were purchased before 1979, when the nation was a U.S. ally and purchased a batch of F-14A Tomcats, becoming the sole operator outside of the U.S. There was no information on the agreement between Iran and Russia for a while, but then there were reports about the beginning of delivery. However, it just came to light that Tehran might hand over the Su-35. The Russian government's resistance to technology transfer is the cause. F-16 Fighting Falcon for Turkey Turkey had once intended to buy F-35 Lightning II fighter aircraft. Ankara planned to replace the 270 old F-16 Fighting Falcons with 105th generation aircraft. However, the nation was left without the F-35s and currently has no way to acquire new F-16s due to the $2.5 billion purchase of Russia's S-400 air defense systems. After the F-35 proposal was shelved, Turkey asked the U.S. for 40 F-16s and modification kits in 2021. The proposed transaction was worth $20 billion. The ice appeared to have been tampered with. Sweden's proposal to join NATO was approved by Ankara, but a crucial U.S. senator is preventing the sale of fighter jets. In parallel, Turkey started utilizing its resources and domestic producers to modernize the outdated F-16 Block 30 aircraft. Recently, TAI and Aselsan agreed to two deals worth about $2 billion. In the middle of May 2023, the first updated aircraft was unveiled. The Turkish initiative is known as ZGR. It enables the modernization of fighter aircraft to the level of Block 70 and 72. The Turkish version of the Link 16 system, which facilitates communication with other aircraft, will be installed in the fighters, along with a new digital cockpit, active phased array antennae for the radar, and other upgrades. Turkey still requires the U.S. update kits even though the program has already started. The F-16 fleet will be able to remain combat ready for 10 years until Turkey's 5th generation KAAN fighter, which could cost more than $100 million, becomes available thanks to this. The largest deal between the two nations in the previous 10 years would be made if Turkey is permitted to purchase aircraft from the United States. Rafail for Iraq Iraq is getting ready to ink its first deal with France in decades to purchase fighter jets. 
The government of Saddam Hussein placed orders for 133 Mirage F-1 planes in the 1970s and 1980s. Baghdad is aiming for the Dasar Rafael this time. Less noteworthy purchases include South Korean T-50s and Czech L-159s. F-16s first arrived in Iraq less than 10 years ago. But the future of U.S. aircraft has been questioned due to maintenance issues. Due to the limited use of Russian helicopters and Baghdad's inability to obtain the necessary quantities of parts from Russia due to the conflict in Ukraine, they now play a significant role. Instead of enhancing its attack capability, Iraq will attempt to strengthen its air defense with the purchase of 14 Rafale fighters. It will thus expect that France would consent to the sale of Meteor air-to-air -air missiles. It will be recalled that the U.S. has chosen not to give Iraq AIM-120 AMROMs. F-15 Eagle for Egypt Egypt has purchased its weapons from the United States since 1979. The African nation bought M1 Abrams tanks, AH-64 Apache attack helicopters, and F-16 fighter jets. But not to Egypt. The U.S. was successful in selling the F-15 Eagle to Qatar and Saudi Arabia. The agreements made in 2002 between Washington and Tel Aviv included this. Egypt also never got the AIM-120 Amram air-to-air -air missiles, which severely constrained its ability to defend against the air. Egypt went to Russia after years of collaboration with the U.S., but it was unable to get F-15s. Cairo placed a $2 billion purchase for roughly 40 MiG-29 aircraft in 2014, and four years later it agreed to buy Su-35 aircraft for the same price. Egypt rejected the Su-35 because it feared sanctions, as we noted above. But now there is new hope for getting American F-15 Eagle fighters of the fourth generation. But to do this, Israel, which is being vigorously strengthened with F-35 Iadir planes, must give its consent. While this is happening, it is yet unknown which F-15 model would be provided to Egypt. The possibility that the U.S. is selling the F-15 EX Eagle II is not completely excluded.